Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Ubiquiti patch panel. I want to thank Richard for sending this to me as it's not available in Canada yet and I was unable to get one from the United States. We're going to look at what comes in the box with the Unify patch panel. We're going to switch out my old patch panel to this new one and then I'll tell you some things I like and I dislike about them. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you like to watch video games live streamed, I stream on Twitch about four days a week and you could find that link in the description below. Now let's take a look at what comes in the box with the new Unify patch panel. First, we need to open the box with the Ubiquity patch panel and Ubiquity always does a great job with their packaging. On the very top of the box, we have a QR code with the quick start guide. And then right on the top of the box, we have our 24 port silver patch panel. It comes with cage nuts and screws and two metal rack ears. To put the rack ears on, there's only two screw holes for them to go into and we need a Phillips screwdriver to screw them in. Now that we've seen what comes into the box, we need to get this installed into my rack. I use a 25U StarTech rack. I do have the Unify rack, which these patch panels do work with. You just don't need to put the rack mount ears on. So let's head downstairs and swap out my old patch panel for the new one. This is the network rack currently, and it's a bit of a mess because I switch things around quite a bit when we're doing some testing with different devices. But we can see this one long cable hanging out over here. This is for my secondary WAN cable and it's plugging into a port that goes up to my office so that I can test with UDMs or different firewalls. So what I need to do, I need to pop out all these patch cables and then we need to pop out the keystones and place them in the new patch panel. I tell you in the home lab videos that we should always label our patch panels and typically I do, but I haven't for this and I've misplaced my labeler. So we're not gonna be able to do that in this video, but I will do an updated video on that. On the back of the cables, I've just marked it with the Sharpie one to 24, whichever keystone slot they land in. So we're gonna pop them out, put in the new patch panel, and then put in the jacks. Okay, we have the keystones now put in the patch panels and for the blank spaces, I'm gonna end up putting these keystone blank pieces in and I'll put an Amazon affiliate link for these keystone blanks. They really do come in handy. So let's throw these in. The patch panel is now in the rack. We need to take our patch cables from the switch and plug it into the patch panel. So that's going to be it for this video on the Unify patch panel. A couple of things that I dislike about this patch panel is it's not labeled. Typically when we buy patch panels, it's labeled one to 24. Usually I'd get my label maker and create my own label. So it's really not that big of a deal. Another thing that I think it should have came with is a cable management arm or a tension bar as shown up here. A lot of people do like that to keep the strain off of the cables. The things that I do like about these patch panels, it could be used in any network rack or it could be used with the Unify network rack. Also, it's only $19 USD, which is fairly reasonably priced. Another thing, if you've ever lost some rack ears or accessories to your rack ears, you just pay $19 and you'll get a full new set. I also like that it matches the color of our Ubiquiti devices and there are some things in early access that are going to make our network racks look even better. Let me know what you think about the Unify patch panels in the comment below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.